welcome to the Craft House Magic um, set of vlogs. So today I'm going to show you all the machines I use for dressmaking. I have a few other machines that I'm going to show you in some later videos, so watch out for those. But let's get started with the dressmaking ones. So this is the main machine I like to use and it's a Faf Quilt Expression 4.2. I've had this for about eight years I think um, and I do use it as my main machine now just because it has a big extra wide throat there uh, and a couple of little features that are quite handy which I'll talk to you about in a minute but it has got quite a lot of stitches that you can choose from which you program into this panel at the top here and I quite like it because it has a needle thread that you pull down and you put the thread under this little hook here and across the front of the needle and then it pulls the thread through the hole in the needle which is quite handy and also it has um, an IDT system which means it's got like a walking foot built in which I can um, disengage if I don't want it like that but it is quite handy because it helps with um, quilting but also working with stretch fabrics as well um, so I'll just give you a little bit of a demonstration of just a plain straight stitch really it also starts and finishes the stitches um, quite nicely as well and then I can press a little button here to finish um, the stitches off and it cuts the thread for me as well which is very posh and very handy. So this is the second of my machines I've got to show you to do with dressmaking and it's my Burnett Benina B42 Funlock machine which is like a cover stitch machine um, and it's basically used for finishing garments to do hemming um, because it produces a stitch that's really stretchy. So you can have up to three needles engaged, but I've only got two um, in here at the moment. So it can run three lines of stitching next to each other if you'd like it to. And then there's one thread that runs along uh, the back of the material, which is threaded through here. I find this a little bit easier to thread than my um, overlocker, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this is how it works. With the cover stitch machine you must remember to make sure your presser foot is down otherwise it really doesn't like it. So I lift the foot and I got my little tweezers in here. Um, then I need to lift that up. This is difficult to do with one hand. Pull the thread to the front and then I'm going to cut through here but I'm going to have to um, let go of it. I normally do it in one sweep um, but because I'm doing it with the camera in one hand it's difficult. So I've just cut the threads there and then I pull to the back um, and then there's just one thread I need to cut and it produces um, like a sort of a zigzag across the back and then two lines of stitching if I've got two needles engaged but I can have three if I want to so that's a really nice way of finishing off the hem of a stretchy t-shirt um, makes it really nice and neat um, so that's my second machine and thirdly is my overlocker so this is my Juki and it's an M0654DE and this is really useful. I think if you were going to just have two machines, I'd have this and a standard machine, really. I tend to use this a lot, um, not only for sort of stretch fabrics, but for joining materials that fray a lot, um, just stops them um, fraying. Um, so again, there's four threads similar to the cover stitch machine um, and you have tension dials at the front that you can regulate the tension, but I tend to keep mine at about four. Um, with the overlocker machine you can actually run the machine without it having any fabric in it unlike the cover stitch which is interesting I've actually turned this off because the light flashes a bit on the camera I think but um, I'll just show you how that works and I'm going to show you how that can cut off the material as well. So this works just on the edge of fabrics really, whereas, whereas the cover stitch um, 
you can use it for, for hemming this is to finish off edges and you can join pieces um, to make a stretchy t-shirt with this one so I'll show you how that cuts off So there we are, you can see that that's finished off those edges nicely. The samples I'm showing you are actually just scraps of fabric I had around my craft room that aren't stretchy fabrics, but you can see the end product. Um, so that's what the seam would look like, but just a little scrap to show you how that works. So you can buy now machines that can be converted to do both overlocking and cover stitches um, but I at the time I couldn't afford to buy a machine that does the two things and sometimes it's nice to have the two machines separately um, so that you can quickly switch from one to the other without having to convert it. So they're the three machines that I tend to use for dressmaking a lot, especially for stretchy fabrics. Um, I will do another couple of videos on the other machines that I have. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye!